So if you are considering working at Wendy's, you know, just, just try it. Uh, you know, not, of course, not every job is made for everyone, but who knows? Maybe you, you might be thinking, no, I, I don't want to work at a fast food restaurant, but it might be just for you. Um, you're probably new here. If you look at my channel, you're probably new here. So my name is Donna Duck. This is my discussion channel, Duck Talk with Donna, where I have a topic that I discuss. Simple. And this video's topic is about my experience working at Wendy's. So um, before I actually like put everything like timestamps in the description, like every section that I'm going to talk about, I guess. Like I labeled it, if that makes sense. So if you want to like go find a certain part, it's in the description. So um, yeah, let's talk about my experience working at Wendy's. I've actually been working at Wendy's for three months now. Um, this month is my fourth month, um, like near the end of the month, it'll be my fourth month working at Wendy's. So I would say I have enough experience to share. So that's what I'm doing, sharing my experience working at Wendy's. I really hope I don't sound stuffy because my nose, my allergies are acting up, so they always are. All right, so uh, I'm gonna start in the beginning, not the very beginning, like of how I actually got a job. I actually made a video about that. Um, I'll link that in the description box too, if you wanna watch it. Uh, it's just pretty much how I got a job at Wendy's, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm starting from the beginning of actually working at Wendy's. So, the first day. Actually, like I labeled it as the first day, but it's not actually, I'm more, I mean like more like the first week, um, which is like the learning stage of working. The first few days is, um, I think they call it orientation, but it's you watch videos of learning, you know, the basic jobs. There's like a bunch of videos to watch. Some things you don't really need to know because there's different positions that they'll put you on and you know if you're good at a certain position you're probably going to stay there. So there's no need to watch all the videos you know. Um, and that's actually paid training which is a nice thing because you're getting paid to learn you know. <laughs> that's the dream. He's right. That is the dream. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's a good thing. And then after you watch the videos all about learning, then you actually go and work. Um, so I, I don't know, I don't really, I really do not know how like they say, okay, we'll put this person here, we'll put this person here. I, I do not know how that works. Um, but depending on, I guess, how they see you. Um, this is my theory. If you're like an outgoing person, like a happy person, you like talking to people and you're good at it, then you're most likely going to take orders. Um, that's not me. <laughs> like I am, I'm, I'm antisocial. Like I, that's, that's the best way to put it for me. Um, and I am just, I'm really not good at talking to people. So my first, uh, position that they put me on was fries and um you know that's that's a, that was a pretty nice start um um it, it, it was a pretty nice start but I'm, I'm gonna go more in depth um soon so yeah <laughs> so actually now i'm gonna go into like the working positions um the jobs that you work at Wendy's so the way I see it there's like four main jobs um, to work there's taking orders there's fries there's grill and there's sandwiches those are like the four main things you know that I guess that you think of when working or yeah <laughs> that you think of when working um, and after I went to fries I went to sandwiches like they put me directly on sandwiches um but like i said depending i guess how and how you perform 
then it, it depends really where you go um like say for the window like taking orders there is um they call it i called coordinating it's called coordinating which is where pretty much you collect the food bag the food hand out the food make the drinks you know all that stuff uh, i I've, I've done that and i don't think i did good at it because after a little bit they just put me back on sandwiches so i was like you know that's good because i i really do not like doing that um and i don't really want to say all the jobs are hard because really the jobs aren't aren't that hard you know um when i think about it when like when i think about all the fast food restaurants that hire teenagers in my mind wendy's is the easiest because they they have the simplest sandwiches um, you know they're good but like they're simple you know like a simple burger simple chicken sandwich chicken nuggets fries it's all simple um the menu is it's simple so it's really the job is not that hard but it is i, I would say it's hard work because in a sense that if you um it's not a fast learner then it's going to be difficult for you to do but if you are a fast learner if you catch one quick then there's really going to be no problem you know it's it's really not hard work so um i've actually worked all the positions i've took orders i've coordinated i've sand did sandwiches i did fries i worked the grill and i i just I guess I'm good at learning things, like good at catching on because they were they were not hard to do. Um, but although the I when I see like new people come in, I I see them struggle just just a little bit, and um, I help them out like a little, you know, in a way that they don't know that I'm helping, but like I'm helping them out, and and because. They, some people just struggle just a little bit. They don't catch on um, as quick as I guess, as I did, I don't know. I just, I feel like they're overwhelmed because it is a lot. Like first, when you first come in, it, it feels like a lot. Like I remember my first day of actually working on the fries, I felt like- Yeah, now I'm panicking. Yeah, don't panic no i am because i'm gonna lose my job but it was so hot because like it's right the fryer is right there and um i had a long sleeve shirt on and my mask was on um it, it was just i just felt overwhelmed but now that i've been working everything just seems easy to me you know i i feel comfortable working any position so the work uniform i'm actually wearing my work shirt um it's just like a t-shirt uh you can wear a long sleeve shirt if you want but if you're good doing sandwiches fries or grill you probably wouldn't want to because it's it's hot right there like in that specific area it's hot but you also have to wear at the wendy's i work at you well all wendy's i think you're supposed to wear black like long black pants but at the one of these where i work at you can wear also you can wear jeans um and they say wear pants because there is uh, the fryer is big and grease does pop everywhere also the grill too i've seen people wear leggings though um uh, mostly people who work taking orders and stuff like that they're not around it so i, I guess it's okay you know but um, also you have to wear an apron like that's required for everyone apron and a hat or a visor i have a visor um i was gonna wear it but i did my edges so like i didn't want to mess with my edges so but yeah um also talking about jewelry um i i wrap sandwiches and stuff so i have to wear well actually everyone wears gloves but um like i said i wrap sandwiches so i can't really wear rings um or or bracelets because it would get in the way of my gloves also long nails like i i miss having long nails um i see people who take orders and they have long beautiful nails i'm like <laughs> i want nails but they just will not work with the gloves like they will always rip um so i, I can't have long nails but uh i yeah i envy them i, I do and also earrings um 
as long as they're not in the way they say no dangling in the rings but you know if it's a little dangle i guess it's fine like hoops but i usually just wear studs because i like wearing earrings but i don't i really don't want it in my way and for your hair he just is you know it just gotta be out of the way um especially if you have like really curly hair um you don't want to find hair in your food you know so just like put it back in a ponytail i usually have my hair braided so you know just i just keep it back um shoes shoes are in my opinion is the biggest thing because if you do not have non-slip shoes you will be slipping you will be slipping okay just it those are if you ask me those are like the main priority um to work in around grease and stuff because like there's grease on the there's like grease on the floor i guess it's like greasy <laughs> the floor is greasy also people are washing dishes so like um there's sometimes water just comes on the floor people also sweep the floor and clean it and mop you you need non-slip shoes those those if you ask me those are like the biggest priority in your uniform is non-slip shoes and uh working at wendy's they have to be black too um i've seen some people wear non-slip crocs they just look so comfortable uh, but i have i have uh, uh but i have i have uh work actual work shoes so just non-slip shoes you, you're going to want non-slip shoes scheduling um so for the most part it, my the way I, like i've been scheduling how what time i work it's been really flexible um my managers they work with me um and if I have to change my schedule every week, then, you know, they're cool about it. I remember one week I only worked two days a week for two hours because I didn't have a ride. So, but they were, they were really cool with it. Um, they allowed me to work two hours for two days. And, and then after that, like when I could come in more, you know, I just changed it up and it was no big deal. Um, and like shift wise, uh, I am a teen and if you're under 18, you're considered a minor. So after like, I guess five hours is a shift. And then after five hours, you you have to take a break. Um, or if you're working more than five hours, you have to take like a 30 minute break. I really don't like that because like, I know it's only 30 minutes, but that's 30 minutes I'm not getting paid and I have to sit at work and I'm not getting paid. So. I usually work four hours or less. Um, sometimes I do work over five hours. I mean, yeah, I work five hours or less, sorry. But sometimes I do work over five hours because you know, I, I am working for money and I do need that money. So, um, but I'm just gonna say this. For me, after five hours, I just I just get tired. Um, I just like, man, I, I want to get out of here. Like my feet start hurting, my legs start hurting. And I'm just like, I'm irritated. I'm like, I, I just want to get out of here. Um, so I, that's why, that's another reason why I usually work five hours per shift. Um, and talking about scheduling, uh, I've actually worked morning, like daytime and the nighttime. And my favorite time is the morning um, because it's like, slow and um where, where i work there's not a lot of people in the morning but there's like there's always something to do i guess but once you do everything then again it starts getting boring you know that's the downside of the morning is because it's not as busy as the daytime or the nighttime so that's the downside is sometimes it does get boring and i'm just like i'm just looking for something to do and i feel like an overachiever because i'm cleaning everything or asking the manager hey can i stock this can i stock that and i just i feel like i'm being annoying because i want something to do but uh that's just how i feel in the morning i just i feel like i need something to do but the, even though that one downside the morning is my favorite i really don't like working lunch because that is like the rush time um but even though there is a rush in the evening um but lunch is like the biggest rush because you know everyone's coming to get lunch and i some days i just feel like my hands start shaking because i'm nervous um of messing up the orders because you know it's a lot people coming after car after car and you got to make sandwich after sandwich um 
but usually I just zone out. Uh, occasionally I do start to panic, but most of the time it's really like, you know, I got this, you know, I reassure myself, I get the work done and it's a great day of work. Life is good. You know what I mean? And then nighttime, I really like working nighttime too because it's the end of the day. Even though there is a lot to do at night because you know you gotta clean, you gotta stock, you gotta make sure everything is in place for the next day. But it's really, I don't, I don't want to say relaxing, but it, it kind of is relaxing. Um, and then you know I get free food sometimes, like after work. So you know as that's always a plus side. And the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is the coworkers. Um, so I, I think I mentioned this, I'm antisocial. I don't, I really don't like talking to people. Um, in fact, I sometimes, people scare me. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I should say scared, but like, I just, I just feel like I need to avoid people at all costs. You know, I'm, I'm antisocial. So I was thinking like, you know, I can just go to work, do my job, and I won't have to say a thing to anyone. That is not the case. Um, you, at some point, you are going to say something to someone, someone's going to say something to you, whether it's, hey, can you grab this for me? Or, hey, do you need something? Or, hey, here, take this or take that, you know. You, at some point, you are going to talk to someone. Or some people just like making friends. Um, if you ask me, like this might be the anti-socialness coming out, but if you ask me, like I don't need friends at work. You know, this is my job. I'm getting paid to work, not to make friends. You know, um, although people do talk to me, and of course I talk back because I'm not going to be rude. But well, what, what I was saying is, you at some point you are going to talk to someone, and also everyone helps everyone. Some people describe working like close to people as a big family no 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 <laughs> no that i that just sounds crazy work my co-workers are not my family they're my co-workers and you know that's fine but I, I guess i do see where people are coming from because usually there is that one group of people who seem really close always laughing with each other talking i'm i'm, I'm just like out an outcast i guess so i'm like you know i can't relate but still um i just i don't see co-workers as a big family but everyone does help everyone um whether you ask for it or not everyone helps everyone in some way um, and it's just it's just that cycle you know it's sometimes it's not even intentional um i mean i always try to help everyone because especially like the new people because like I just I don't want them to feel overwhelmed uh, because where we work we do need more people to come in because sometimes it's not enough people so I do try to help everyone so that they can feel comfortable so that they can work um, also I just want to say real quick I consider my like my managers my co-workers because they also work beside us um, usually there's like five minutes there's five managers at my Wendy's, um, usually there's like five or six managers. Um, I know all the mines pretty well. I talk with them and stuff. And that's why I, I consider them my coworkers because like they work beside me, even though they do tell me to do things because they're, you know, they're the boss. But still, I I just see them as my coworkers as well. Um, and yeah, that's all I got on coworkers. Actually, that's all I got in general. <laughs> Those are five um, things that I guess help me explain my experience at Wendy's. Um, I guess I can say I like working. I'm not gonna call it fun, but I like working. So if I describe it in one word, it would be decent. Um, it's a decent job. Uh, it's, it is minimal, minimal wage, um, you know, at, depending on what state you are, minimal wage. Um, and well, the way I see it, I'm getting paid to make sandwiches. <laughs> So that's, that's like, that's my motivation to keep me working. I'm getting paid to make sandwiches. Um, but yeah, so if you are considering working at Wendy's, you know, just, just try it. Uh, you know, not, of course, not every job is made for everyone, but who knows? Maybe you, you might be thinking, no, I, I don't want to work at a fast food restaurant, but it might be just for you. 
so you, sh you should just you know you should just try it out um but yeah that's all i got uh, there's my experience working at wendy's uh i will be continuing to work at wendy's for i don't know until i get out of school i don't know i really don't know but um that's it for this video if you like this video like the video subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell to be notified for further videos which will be soon um i do want to say i will be making a pros and cons about working at wendy's in the future because there are some things that i like working there and there are some things that i don't like working there so that will be in the future so make sure you subscribe or remember my name donna duck and come back and watch that video um i really do appreciate you watching this video and until the next video